Hello, 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 and thank you for tuning on to another episode of our scripture breakdown ministry. My name is David Abraham, and our scripture for today comes from Colossians 1, verse 15 to 16. And it reads, He is the image of the invincible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him all things were created that are in heaven and that on earth visible and invisible whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers all things were created through him and for him i repeat he is the image of the invincible god the firstborn over all creation for by him all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth visible and invincible whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. Now, I want to divide the scripture into five parts. And the first part says he is the image of the invincible God, the firstborn over all creation. Now, this was Apostle Paul um, after exalting and praising the Colossians and giving thanks to the Father on their behalf and praying continually for them. Um, He goes on a different tangent. He says he is the image of the invincible God. So here he was speaking about Christ. Christ is the image of the invincible God because Christ, um, being Christ-like, is also being God-like. So he said he is the image. That is image in the physical image in the spiritual because um, like father like son christ was the son of god and christ um, behaved godlike so that he's the image of the invincible god god is invincible and no man can boast of seeing god and said the firstborn over all creation so here he still spoke about the authority of christ Um, being a firstborn is uh, is um, an authority um giving to um um a spiritual authority given to somebody who is high up there with god so he says the firstborn over all creation he wasn't the firstborn over the churches he wasn't the firstborn over heaven he wasn't the firstborn over any other um jurisdiction he was the firstborn over the totality of creation so christ is the firstborn over all creation then he said for by him all things were created then here he speaks about the god back about god he said by him all things were created so here god created the heavens and the earth because um if according to genesis the book of genesis verse 1 says in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth and when god created the heavens and the earth he, um he says the bible says that the earth was um the darkness hovered over the earth and the earth was void and the spirit of god hovered over the earth and began to create and began to create order and began to create the sun and the moon so here he speaks he speaks about um for by him all things were created that are in heaven that are on earth then it says visible as visible the the visible things which you can see with the naked eye and invincible so these are things which you can see in the spiritual things that are um spiritually um created things like the spiritual world the, the, there is a world of the spirit um as our physical man our flesh is a representative of us in the physical and uh, where we have a body and um, so also our sp- spirit man is a spiritual representative of us in the spirit and our physical body is an encasement is a covering of our spiritual body so also the spiritual world is a world that we can um sojourn in that we can walk in through the spiritual eyes and the spiritual governs 
the physical because God is a spiritual being and God gives his instructions and God gives his um, dictates and his leadership of our spirit through the spiritual and we get the um, signals and are able to translate and act in the physical in the course of fulfillment of his will for our lives in the course of fulfillment of the journey uh, of which we came to this world um, to fulfill so here it says visible and invisible physical and spiritual then he says where the thrones now the thrones are a, a, a high ranking type of angels then it says or oh, dominions the dominions are also a high ranking type of angels who are um angels that control um domains that control territories then or principalities um angels that control smaller um, um territories and or powers powers are also a group of angels that are very uh, involved in politics and decision makings of of um of environments decision makings in societies um decision making in usually the highest bodies of power then it says all things were created through him and for him so all things were created through god and for god so everything we see visible and invisible was created for the pleasing of god now i want to pray that god is able to expand our minds on this word that god is able to give us the grace to walk godlike to tend towards him and to fellowship with him to be able to get to know him better and ultimately to live in his perfect will all this i ask through jesus christ our lord i thank you so much for listening and god bless god bless in jesus name amen amen